Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, if you saw my last video, you'll know I've been having some uh, technical glitches. Very frustrating having just come out of that uh, weird kind of uh, creative dry patch that I'd been in. All oh, fired up and ready to go and uh, yeah, fell at the first hurdle. So anyway, luckily I have an in-house expert, my son Tom. Say hello Tom. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, now, Tom doesn't actually live with me, but he d he did. Uh, oh, thank goodness, eh? Yep. <laughs> but he did help me out remotely, and we spent a couple of hours trying to work out what the problem was. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse here of the. Um, uh, um, I thought oh, I had a glitch. I had a glitch myself. Then I just went completely blank. I'm going to give you. I'm going to put a little clip in here of of uh, what was happening when I was trying to film, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So yeah, it wasn't looking good, was it? No. So um, Tom connected up with me remotely and had a had a good look at everything. Uh, yeah it took us ages to try and sort out what was uh, what was wrong and uh, in the end in Tom's uh, expert opinion basically my camera was buggered wasn't it yep <sighs> nothing for it but to get a new one and uh, we're gonna we're gonna look on the bright side yep you know at the end of the day it could have been a lot worse mm -hmm. and um, it could have happened before the live stream yep or it could have been something really major in the uh, in the uh, computer gone wrong and we don't want that do we um so and maybe you know it's a chance to uh get a better camera because i kind of needed to do that anyway and um maybe improve the lighting a little bit you know so i'm, I'm gonna look on the bright side hopefully it won't be too long before we get it uh, sorted out but um Meanwhile, I'm going to crack on with another project and um, just sort of document it as best as I can. Uh, so um, Tom's going to come around again tomorrow and we'll do a bit more sorting out. Meanwhile, say goodbye to the lovely people. Bye. <laughs> Bye. By the way, this, this puppet, oh, gone to Colette, that's usually me. Um, this little puppet, let me show him properly. <laughs> With his little feet, his little feet are so cute. Not in real life, they're not cute at all. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. <laughs> oh, it's a change. Um, yes, this puppet we made a few months back following um, some tutorials on um, YouTube by Adam Kutinger. Absolutely brilliant so I, I will uh, we'll say goodbye to Tom I'll show you a quick look at that and then we'll crack on with what I'm actually supposed to be doing bye Tom <laughs> bye uh, you stay down there and behave yourself so just a really quick look at um here we go here's Adam Kutinger's um Kutinger Kutinger I think you say it um YouTube channel he's absolutely brilliant his tutorials are wonderful look at the summer things he shows you step by step how to make loads make how to how to do all the basic techniques for creating all different kinds of puppets um, and he just recently relatively recently found that he had a brain tumor which he's had to have treated and he's being very open about it and very positive um, I must check in at, actually excuse me I must check in and just see how he's getting on anyway so that's a quick look at him um, but that's not what we're talking about today. I'm going, I've got a new project to start and this one has been waiting in the wings for ages. It's a kind of mini, mini collaboration with Dolores J Rush here on YouTube. Um, we've been chatting for um, quite a while now and um, a while back we swapped packages of junk, <laughs> junk mail and uh, other goodies and things. Um, so this is a, a package of uh, junk mail and and, uh, so, and some lovely things as well actually from um, the states and I sent a similar package to Dolores um, from here in the UK and the idea is that we're going to make well I, I call them trash trash dolls trash doll journals if you look up behind me oh wrong side 
<laughs> if you look there you can see some three-dimensional trash dolls that I made on a live stream a few months back Dolores did some too as did uh, two or three other people and shared them on the Facebook group if you want to have a look I'll leave a link to that and um, Dolores makes a lots of kind of junk journals with amongst other things with art dolls in them and uh, they're very inspiring I'm going to show you a quick look now here we go so this is one of my favorites of her and uh, this is this this piece of packaging here she's actually sent me that in 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 the package she well, I just showed you um so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to using that one so this is Dolores own face which she has put through an app on her phone and uh, to sort of distort her face <laughs> it's really fun and it's a cute little saying there as well this is this is in a um an art dolls playlist that she's got but yeah I'll, I'll leave a link to her channel so you can check her out properly uh, so um, Dolores actually sent me an image of her face, <laughs> a different one of her face that she's put through that app. So I printed it out nine times because I want to have plenty to play with and I'll probably do lots of different versions of it. I've actually got a little sheet of uh, my own face but I decided it was funny enough on its own I didn't need to bother working it out to <laughs> use the app and stuff because <laughs> it's funny enough all just as it is. Um, Dolores also sent me some... Um, uh, different sh different um, templates for the for the edges of pages to make the edges more fun and uh, some um, templates to use for uh, shaped pages so let me show you the what's kind of inspired us in terms of how, how the how we how we how we would like our book to look uh, let's go back to so this is a lady um, called Mary flower and Dolores and I both absolutely love what she's done here. She's used um, acrylic paints and scrap papers and things and cut them in all different shapes and sizes and she's created this book to store the art that her grandchildren make. What I'm going to do is just put this on faster play and just play it mute, muted. Um, so you can see some of the amazing shapes and things that she's got here. I love that idea and what a great way to store your children's or grandchildren's artworks. Some of the pages have been inspired by the actual pictures that the children did. I'll leave a link to this um, video because it's just wonderful. So yeah, you can see the children's art here so in some cases I think what she's done is scanned it and sort of enhanced the art herself added colour and things but she's kept all the originals as well and she's got little pockets to keep them in love that look how that extends out like that absolutely absolutely brilliant and um, I mean okay you, you know you need you need uh, acrylic paint or something um, to get all these lovely vivid colours but it, it doesn't need to be fancy paper at all I'm just quickly, quickly whizzing through because you can go in and have a, a proper look yourself. Great way to keep little keepsakes. It's just perfect for children's art. And I wish I'd have thought of doing this when my kids were small. Well, I wouldn't have had the time, actually. Um, look at that. So um, this is where normally I'd go to the desk and shake. Oh, I got a bit of a blip then. I thought I was going to start glitching again. No, it seems to be okay. Um, so this is where these templates that Dolores made me all come in to help me do those shaped pages. Um, I've got this whole, I'll leave, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to, I did an unpacking video of this with Macy, granddaughter Macy, we enjoy, really enjoyed going through this and opening all the stuff that Dolores had sent because a lot of it is junk mail and things that she's picked up here and there, the same as me, but a lot of it was um, you know, little things like this as well that she's picked up um yeah so there's all sorts in there and a, a stencil which you can use to cut out shapes and things out of so i'm going to use hopefully most of what dolores has sent me i've kept a couple other bits myself so this happened to come oh did i pick i maybe picked it either came in the post or i picked it up and i was in mns so i can cut out lots of um legs and eyes and things <laughs> to make my to make my trash dolls i've kept things like where where you know i finished up a, 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 a paper pad i just kept the um, cover i have these printed off i was making uh 
pendants with them for my Etsy shop and uh, I kept some of those because I thought I might use some of them and I'm not sure. Uh, that's my National Trust magazine. Um, now for art dolls this probably I don't know how useful it will be. Sometimes you can use things like like for example as a picture of a of a bottle there. I can't hold them on because I hear. Um, you could turn that very much, that would be perfect. I will probably cut that out and turn that into um, the body of a, of a doll, an art doll. Another, another little freebie. This came off a, <laughs> off a low fat cheese triangle. <laughs> I thought that's going to make a perfect art doll body. Empty envelope from a birthday card very very rare that we have um ready meals but there we did have one and i thought oh it could be a big smile or something i don't know <laughs> well i'll just turn it into a page and uh, that's the inside of my artful box um i did have that i was going to show you but it's going to be difficult without the camera but this is a really old thing that i did i recycled some amazon packaging to make you probably if i take that out You'll remember, you'll, you'll have come across these if you order things from Amazon, where you get this kind of folder and then there's this bit that opens up like that. And it's usually like a book or something goes inside there and then they pack it and then it's sealed like that with the rip strip. So I just took it all apart and stuck some papers and stuff over it. I, I don't really... I don't really like the look of it now, but I'm, I'm going to keep it. It's a bit. Uh, I'm going to keep it, recover it in in wallpaper, and still and and use it for a fold. It's quite a nice way to keep if you do like loose sketches or something, and not not in a sketchbook. It's a nice way to keep them all together. But I just need to make it look more. And inside there, this was a previous art. Oh, this will give you the best idea I can at the moment of the sort of thing I'm aiming at. But I expect the style will style will be quite different so this is when i'm talking about a, a two-dimensional art doll this is the kind of thing i mean so i've cut the eyes out of a magazine and the, this was probably a collage sheet that i bought but you could easily you could easily do this with faces from a magazine and then just mismatch them stuck them together that was probably a bowl or something there <laughs> this is this is a skirt and uh, skirt and legs from a different um a picture that I've just sort of added some pen to um, and sometimes yeah, the magazines are just good just for finding words in I think it will be this one will be a very different style yeah um, what I might do is um, when I've got my camera back I'll do a quick flip through of this and then a quick sort of show and tell of what I've got ready here for for my for my new projects because it's it's very difficult to show you anything without my proper camera set up so um i'm gonna go through now and refresh myself with what i've got in the dolores parcel because it's been a, a while since we, we exchanged those and uh, cut out useful bits and pieces from uh, these magazines and stuff and um, my the base for my pages this is where my hoarding uh, my hoarding instinct pays off <laughs> now these actually aren't mine these are from tom he gets a lot of his shopping delivered via amazon his his grocery shopping and they come in these big paper bags which are so it's sort of quite a new thing in this country but i think you have brown grocery bags in in uh, the states anyway don't you I, I think you you know you always see it in films anyway <laughs> So I'm going to make these the base of my pages and I'm going to cut them down into usable size pieces. Probably will slap some gesso over them to give me a base. And then I'm going to use, I'm just going to have fun with acrylic paints and maybe some Neo Colour too. Whatever beautiful, colourful supplies I've got that I feel like using just to randomly add colour to all the pages and do the shapes and things like that. By that stage, Hopefully, I will have my camera back up and running and I can show you where I'm at. Um, I've also kept hold of this packaging, which that's where my, my Frisk paper pad prize came in this. So this is another piece of packaging that I think would lend itself quite well to becoming the covers of a book. I mean, it's obviously too big, but yeah. 
So really, given the technical hitches I've got going on at the moment, that's all I can do for now. But what I'm going to do is try and I'll have my phone nearby and I will just try and remember to um, take lots of photos along the way. And um, I'll sort of edit them all together and come back and give you an update um, soon. And when I get to the stage of actually put in the starting to put the dolls together hopefully I'll be ready to, to film properly and then you could uh, uh, join in if you like it might be one of the, a lot of people have said about doing live streams it might be one idea that'd be quite fun to do uh, for a live stream actually yeah anyway so that's what I've got for you today thank you very much for uh, joining me and um, putting up with this slightly ramshackle <laughs> video uh, hopefully uh, mm, being optimistic by this time next week uh, I'll be filming as normal again but with improved setup so it'll all be it'll all be worth it in the end so uh, thanks again for joining me today and I will see you again really soon bye